welcome back in this video i will show you how to create a subdomain on hostinger and then install and set up your wordpress website on that subdomain it is very easy and convenient and straightforward so let's begin first of all log into your hostinger account after login you will see this landing page from here click on the hosting link and from there click on on the manage button for the domain where you want to create a subdomain so click on the manage here and from here scroll down and you will say you will see the subdomains button click on that and from there you will see this page from there you can see the list of the current subdomains that are already there and here you can see this section there you need to type the name of the subdomain that you want to create so i want to create a subdomain with the name test and after that we have a checkbox that is saying custom folder for the subdomain so the meaning of this checkbox is that if you uh, by default if you don't check this checkbox then it would create a subfolder in the public underscore html folder the root folder it would create a folder with the same name as of the subdomain name but if you don't want to use the same name if you want to use a different folder name then you can just click on that and then you can provide a custom folder name but uh, for now i just want to use the same name as it is now so now click on the create button and wait for some time after domain is created you will see the success message and then scroll down and here you will see that new subdomain has been created next uh, we need to install the wordpress on this subdomain so for that let's this and if you open the dashboard from the wordpress drop down you will see this landing page here and from here click on this drop down and select the new subdomain that you just have created and open it now you can see on this subdomain nothing is installed yet so it is showing you two options detect wordpress and second option is install wordpress so with the detect wordpress the meaning is that if you want to upload your own files installation files of your wordpress then you can just upload it from the file manager and then you can just click on the detect and it would detect those files from that folder and it would set up that otherwise if you want to install it from scratch by itself then just click on the install button and here you it will allow you to provide some configurations for example you can provide the website title and then you need to provide the email address that you want to use so and after that you need to provide the username that you want to use so here i am going to provide the username ayaz and here you can provide the password so i would just say my password here and after that normally you don't need to click on the advance uh, you, uh, it would use the default settings for the advance you just need to click on the next button but if you want to see let's see on on the advanced section here in the advanced you can specify that which subdirectory you want to create or you want to use to install this wordpress so if you don't want to specify then just leave it and here it is allowing you to use uh, existing 
database if you want to otherwise by default it would create a new database for you and here you can specify the custom password of the database otherwise it would use the default setting so i'm not going to change these settings for now so let's keep the defaults and i'm going to click the next button so here you have to specify the version for the wordpress so right now it already has selected the latest stable version that is also the recommendation so it has selected that already if you want to select any older version then it's up to you can select that one and here you can select the language that you want to use for now in this demo i want to use english so just keep it as it is and here it will tell you if your server is matching its minimum requirements or not so it is saying that it needs at least 55 mb of the disk space as we already have that space that is why it is showing me green tick mark and next it is telling me that uh, php version should be minimum uh, should be uh, 8.1.99 so we have current 7.430 so it is actually matching the requirement that is why it is showing us the tick mark in green color so that is why it is allowing us to create this otherwise the install button would be disable if your requirements are not met so here it is asking you to set up the schedule for the update of the wordpress so if you don't want to automatically uh, update your wordpress application then you can just select it but if you want to update to only minor versions uh, automatically then you can click on that and this is also a recommendation by hostinger and if you always want to update to the latest available version then you can select this one it's up to you uh, sometime latest available version can also be a breaking change for your application so you have to be very thoughtful about selecting this option otherwise the best recommendation is that you can use this one because in this uh, in these upgrades minor version upgrades where most of the time your application would not be crashed because these upgrades are not uh, the breaking changes for your application so you can just select this one but if you are very sensitive about the upgrades you don't want to take any kind of risk uh, you want to up update your application by yourself manually uh, with your planning then you can just turn it off and update by yourself whenever you want to update so let's begin i'm going to click on the install button and wait after some time it would complete the installation and you will see some of the changes in this page with the options about the wordpress installation so okay the installation has been completed and you can see that <clears throat> now we can see a lot of options and settings and configurations on this page for example here it is telling you if you want to force uh, forcefully redirect all website request over https then you it then you can select it by default it is selected already so the meaning of that is that uh, even if user uh, don't type the https it would automatically redirect user to the https that is a secure connection and for example if you are working on your website and you want to turn on maintenance mode you can turn that on from here with this method other users will not be able to discover your content so this is the option that you can use and it is also recommending you the light speed option if you turn it on then in it would increase the performance with light speeds advanced cache engine so it is turned on by default automatically and this is also a very cool feature that if you want to flush your cache of your wordpress application you can just come here and click on this button it would clear all of your wordpress cache and uh, here uh, you can see the wordpress update section here you can set up the 
updates for your WordPress. For example, right now you have set up minor automatic updates are currently enabled, but you can change it from here. So next it is telling you about the speed and security. So it is telling you that SSL certificate is already active on your application out of the box. That's mean you don't have to manually set up or purchase any SSL. It already has given you a free SSL certificate that you are using here. So here it is telling you the current PHP version and WordPress version. And here it is also telling us that daily backup is also enabled. The benefit of this, of that is you will have backup on daily basis and you can recover them anytime if you want. And after that, let's open this website in browser to see if uh, that is working correctly or not. So I'm going to copy this and open it. And here you can see the WordPress application has been created and configured on this newly created subdomain and SSL certificate is also set up and working perfectly. So that is very nice feature by the hostinger. If you are also interested in getting your own hostinger hosting for your website uh, or domain, so you can check the description. I have provided you a URL that you can open to get some discount as, as well. So I hope that this video would be helpful for you. So thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. And also please share my video and like it.